In this episode of our van conversion series we are repairing the front bumper in preparation of repainting our camper van using Raptor Liner. We are also going to treat the black and front bumper with black Raptor Liner. Now our front bumper is damaged. It has a large crack on the side and we want to repair it. Researching this it seems there is no actual way to repair this, except maybe plastic welding, something we don't know how to do. So we just gave it a go using the stuff we had laying around and hope for the best. We intend to secure the two cracked parts as close together as we can by applying lots of adhesive caulk inside the bumper. The plan is as soon as this has set we will fill the crack on the outside of the bumper. First we clean the bumper on the outside and the inside. With water and after drying we use alcohol to degrease the bumper on the inside. Then we sand the inside of the bumper thoroughly. We use a wire brush and sandpaper. Then we degrease again. Now we should have a rough top surface clean enough to hold the adhesive caulk. We had some two component adhesive cork left from other projects around the house. We decided to apply this to the back of the bumper. We also used polyester cloth to ensure the cork could form a solid base to keep the bumper together. We must have applied at least 5 or 6 layers to the back of the bumper. After a few days of curing we figured this thin layer of glue and polyester cloth might not hold. So we added another thick layer of normal adhesive cork. It looks like crap, but who cares, it's inside bumper anyway. Now we focus on the front of the bumper, so this is the visible bit. First we have to clean, because we had taped the bumper together while we were working on the inside of the bumper. Now the tape comes off and we have to thoroughly clean the surface using alcohol. We also brushed and sanded the area down to get a rough top surface for the adhesive cork to stick to. Then we apply the same 2K adhesive cork to the front of the bumper as a first layer. Here we also added multiple layers. Then we have sanded the bumper down to get it as smooth as we could. The results left a lot to be desired but we did the best we could with the materials and skills we have. Just before applying the Raptor liner we tried to get it even smoother using some 2K body filler and sanded it down again. Now we hope for the best, the Raptor liner will cover this bit of the bumper just fine. After a lot of work and hoping for the best the repair didn't hold. After about 2000 miles through the Scottish Highlands, the French Alps and the Vosges Mountains in France, the crack in the bumper was back. We are still thinking about what to do next. So in this video we hopefully gave you some information on how not to repair a bumper. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.